everyone and welcome for this new tutorial. Today we are going to paint another seagull, Edward Seagull. Going to prepare the paints, the mixes off camera. And then we'll take a little more time on um, doing the drawing, the placement of things and uh, talking about my mixtures and then I will probably fast forward uh, for the painting a little bit uh, we'll see how it goes uh, but the focus will be the placement and uh, the drawing so uh, how I make my marks and why so let's go into it okay so I have pre-mixed my uh, colors and uh, to do so I took uh, uh, three grays which were left over paint from uh, last time and I mixed in some more blue or red in this occasion a bit more yellow in this occasion uh, just to make it fit in uh, some values for example uh, two five eight uh, so a mix range for my sky, my land, etc. Then I used those and modified them again with my blues. I have cobalt blue, ultramarine blue on the side here. Here's the cobalt, that's the ultramarine. That's a yellow, cadmium yellow light. Uh, sometimes I use cadmium le yellow lemon. This is a bright red permanent. This is a yellow ochre and this is a white, titanium white. So these colors, the red, the blue and the yellow is everywhere in those uh, mixtures. All three are in here, all three in here and in here but in a different quantity. Therefore I get something a bit redder, a bit yellower, a bit bluer. Anyhow, then I took, for instance, in my greens here, I took the middle value here, mid value, uh, and then I added blue, a little red again, and yellow to make four different tints, which I found on the pic on this uh, painting on this picture that we were producing these are the darks that we see in the front there and uh, uh, just above there out of a camera I've got my darkest dark I could have put it here for you I'll put it over there it doesn't matter let's put it there so you can see um, where is my let's put this let's take this don't need much of that and put it there so this is my darkest dark this is slightly darker than this yeah okay so this is my darkest dark and this here is my sky different colors are found in the sky and this here is there's some in the sky some on the on the plane down there okay so now uh, the focus is once we've done the pre-mixing what to do next as you can see just to win a little time I've did a grid the same grid as I have here I'll show you that on the camera See, there is a grid. Can you can you pick it up? Yes, there is a grid. So I did this grid here. And just with a pencil, I did a few lines to place the tree, the water, etc. I wouldn't do this normally. I would try to find all these straight with paint. Okay? So I walk you through, just for the purpose of being quicker, I did those marks in pencil. And now 
we will go over it again uh, to place everything okay it's not that video would be far too long I've got uh, on my right side I've got a bit of um, medium Way. Sorry, I've got a bug on me. Oh, I do not want it. Okay. Senelier. Uh, so on my left, sorry, here, uh, I've got my Senelier medium in a little, uh, little um, jar here. It is the green for oil that I use. Remember. So it's the Senelier, and then I've got. A jar here with uh, petrol. It's not petrol; it's petroleum. Uh, to just clean my brush. Okay, so here. So I'm going to take a little bit of that red, a little bit of that. Let's put it here. Get a little. Now, so paintings take time, okay? Some people think that, you know, uh, it is done in in a hurry but you know painting takes time if it doesn't turn out exactly the same I don't care it is just to you know show you how you can go about to do a painting. Okay, now three. Then we have a cloud. I mainly follow the highlight of the cloud. Again, I do not. I do not keep it 100%. One reason I don't keep it exactly to what's there is because that is slight. Uh, uh, narrower than the original painting so I couldn't fit everything perfect in there anyway but it doesn't matter because to me it is a study and my study today is to find the lines the lines for my painting okay once I have the lines Once I have the lines, I'll go in with my dark darks. And these are not my shadow darks, etc. These are just my darkest darks. Meaning that here I see dark, very dark.
I paint thin as well right now. It's all dark here, so. But that is how you find this is how you find your drawing. This is very dark here. Some of that uh, probably fast forward. Also, when I do this, I try not to see. Um, I try not to follow. Um, to follow the lines exactly, meaning that. If I do a line horizontal like this, if my next line is exactly the same, I change it because if not, it would be boring. So I pay attention on not having a repetitions. Here the lines are going to go up later on once I put the shadows in. So although we have three horizontal lines, there are different this one is longer this one is shorter this one is a medium size okay do you see what I mean so now here that's the tree shadow of the tree or the line of the tree here we'll have the line of this tree and here we will have this divided bit here here we go up up so there we have another line here the line for my tree here okay and then the line for that hill before this so in between here, in between here I've got some darks as well. Okay. Now this is giving me the position And it gives me the um, my perspective perspective of everything going on here. This is the shadow here, the shadow here. Okay, now I've got that. I will put in the trees and the land. All right, so far. So for this, my tree color shadow of my tree color let's change my brush go to this one i'm using rosemary by the way brushes these are long flats i splashed some okay these are long flats Uh, and they are classics. The range was called. It's a range called classic. And here is an ultimate. So I use a uh, classic mainly, some ultimate, 
and I'm about to try a new a new one. We talked about it in one of the videos. Um, I'll let you know about that new one once I um, tried it out. So now with this here, with this one, I do want it a bit greener so I add a little bit of blue in there and a little yellow. Yeah, that's plenty dark. It is a nice green. So now I'm going to fill this in the way I see it here. And we get it some variation later on. A little darker here. Adding a little bit of this dark here. There we go. Anyway, here. Some very dark here. So for one thing, the artist has his, his tree a little lacy on the tops, so I'm not going to do that today, I'm not going to make it lacy. I'm going to make it a little more solid. at least to start with and then later on I will decide what I do with the laziness and not the laziness okay so got dogs all over here a few dogs in there a few dogs in there okay Okay, a little bit on this side and then we go back to some darks Okay, and we figure out the ed the edges. We will figure them out later on. Okay, there we are. Very dark. So here, with this one. There. There we go. to go darker there. Let's do this first then. Uh, 
I'm adding a little red here. I warm it up for this side here. There is actually not that much here. It's lighter. Oh, we'll see that later on. Just here. There we are, okay. And then yes, here. Okay, so now I will darken here a little more. Touch of yellow. So whatever I do, all my mixes have my three primaries. All of them need it darker here which I'm doing now okay okay now <clears throat> Now we are doing the right side or the left side doesn't matter. Let's do the left side here. There's some parts a little greener, which I put in here. Not many. So while I see this, that's a bit greener here, but it's um, Then I've got a little red on top there, a little darker here, a little redder there. Okay, so you look for the form and don't look for okay, the little dark coming in and then I have a bit of bright coming in again here. So I'm adding a bit of my yellow up there. I'm going to add this with here just a little bit.
I'm not going to paint the cows. There is a little bit of the green showing through there. Okay, so now we have that blue Okay, so now this tree here. Needs its green. I'll finish later. I'll finish the tree later, that's what I mean. I'll get details in that if needed, not if needed, but once the sky is in. Okay, then here we want this green again. Okay, so that's this side. Now jump on to the other one. To the other side. There we go. Oh, here we go. Again, let's have some, there's, there's a, a bright green just here. It is nearly as bright as that. There we are. Just here. That's it, just that, no more. But that's just great, fantastic. And then we have a red right here. Look at that, these two. Red and green. How cool that is. Not cool, but warm and cool. And it's really working well. It's great. There we go. Okay, come back to that later. Now, I'll have this side here, which again I'll come back to later because I have to put the sky in. 
let's go to this bit which is quite a dark here and dirty green dirty because he must have mixed it with with that foreground like this see if I go in there and then I come down and up that is exactly what it looks like he's done and right above that there is a darker straight here but a bit green so let's have this add a little yellow to it Soften these edges, get some of that lighter red in there. That's lighter here, and it has to show a bit. Okay, do a little red, a little bit of everything there. It needs to go darker here. In places. Okay, so now here it goes darker and now we go a bit lighter again and just above that will be a uh, Okay, and there, a dark, a green, oh, here, this one, but we are going to put here, just under that, yeah, here. Okay, right, let's leave that there. Um, here we've got something who mm, starts to go a little blue there. So, um, It's quite clever because it gets a, it gets the rest in it pushes everything back there by doing this. 
So it is quite clever. It's very clever. There's no point for me to do them now because of the sky first. Okay, so um, let's put in the sky. Have fun with the sky. I need a bigger brush, so I will get the sky in. So, okay, I'm having a bigger brush, and now I'm going to start to put in maybe, maybe what I'm going to do is. Okay, just take some of that yellow, it's not the right one, but just, just put some yellow over So, some yellow over where I think is some light in the sky. Okay, so let's get some here, right? Let's get that blue in here. Now I'm using that green here to carry on down there. I'm going to lighten it up at the right bottom of the Okay, Let's add a little white to that. And a touch of ochre. Touch of ochre. Touch of white. Okay. C'est bon, tout le monde est là. Uh, oh. Okay, so now I can see. I can see, say the blind. I can see some. Let's go there. Some ultramarine, maybe the slightest red in there. And I can see some patches now here and there. There is a big one. Of whatever that could be so I need something bigger there anyway so let's get some ultramarine blue 
white. Yeah, he has a dirty blue that is. So I use this, it's got some green in it. And um Okay, so soon it all come together. Don't uh, don't worry. Everything will come together. Now we've got this down, let's do the let's do the highlight again and for that I'm going to get some white here. We have that yellow. That's how I'm going to tackle it first, put this in strong. Even a touch of red, maybe, in a minute. Right now, that yellow will do. Sometimes you mustn't be scared to, to actually put some paint down you know so now I'm not cleaning my brush I'm just going to um, clean the edges and play with the edges put an edge here there take one off there add a bit of that blue here emphasize this side of the blue uh, there is some yellow coming in there Get some interesting stuff done that's too clean so I'm gonna dirty it a little bit I'm not afraid to use my dark greens here in the sky Darker here. Same with this blue there, it's far too pretty. We don't want pretty blue like this. Okay, come back to it later. Clean those edges up.
place off because we're going to have this stuff instead here. Okay. As you saw, I added a little green in there, and it does harmonize there. Harmonize everything together. Okay, I'm going to leave it with the sky here. As you can see, there is... That repeats itself up there. This is really pretty. That Maybe put a couple of pretty things in there. A little goes a long way. Just by touching like this, it just laces the the tree a bit, yeah? And I just want the top. Don't. Not interested in So I'm just touching like this. Okay, and that will do. Yeah, we need more. Okay, and then we need some back here as well. So again, a bit more. Okay, so that's not dark. And that will be my light. There has to be a clear distinction between dark and light. We need to know where light is and where dark is, okay? We cannot guess. So 
so we know here's dark and here's light and here Okay, we're just left with the water now. I think that for the water, this is quite good. Here. This is the grey of the water that I mixed earlier on. And it will be here everywhere then. Okay, so we are nearly done with this painting. All there is left to do now, turn this a little bit more to me, it's okay for you, yes. Um, all there is to do now is to go back and reinstate the drawings of the lines, I should say, where we lost them. So for instance here, I should go a little more in straight. There we go. Just to show a continuity. So I don't want to stay focused on this point, I want to get my eye travelling all over that little painting. So I'll do the same here, we can see that there. And then we have 
those greens in here as well. And see it's already a little better here, a little more harmonious. So here we are going to also just go in there like maybe go a little higher here even. Yes. A little more green here. There we go. That's better. So now we travel to the other side quickly. So you need to do that quickly because if you stay on to one. one point you will lose again this is quite distinct and we've got distinct mark here okay and this one here yes and then it can travel a little bit in there There is that blue, and there is that blue, okay. So, this blue here needs to come up here. Okay. And then we are going to darken again. Okay, this goes this way, always, and this goes this way, this goes this way, so let's have that one coming this way, have a couple of greens, just here is a light green. Okay, a few lighter just here. Then we can break this down a little bit. Wait. Like that. Uh, and uh, uh, let's. So let's get some I leave this. I could put a little dark blue there. To go there. Put some blues back in here. Just a little bit to re emphasize this mountain here. There we go. Get this up a little bit here. And then again, those trees, put them back in.
Okay, now a few dogs. Again. We're all three primaries. in a few grass bits in there, here and there. Okay, um, I think we, I'm going to leave that here one or two dogs here needing okay. um, so that's about it dogs are back in still be dogo here we go let's keep it like that. Here I wanted to go a touch taller. That's a little more natural. So now I put a few reds back in. Yeah. A few stronger reds. Here and there. See how those reds help the greens? They are in the picture, we don't see them very very well, but they are there, they are in this picture, no doubt. Okay, there's some even here a little bit, there we go, and some lighter reds over there. always a little blue for harmony okay Is that happy am I happy with that maybe maybe not as it's in the foreground just here and there a few touches of this okay That's it. Put a little right here. So as you can see there would be still some corrections that we can do. Um, 
We have to bear in mind that this painting has been done in uh, about one and a half hour, or just over one and a half hour. So, although we are near the study, we cannot be 100% uh, the same as the study. Would take much, much longer. Uh, well, in the meantime, it shows you how you can proceed when you want to do a copy. And uh, what you need to do is to uh, bear in mind that this is only an exercise for you to uh, create a harmony uh, that is similar of the one that the painter wanted to, to bring out. Okay. Um, what can we take from this painting? So, let's talk about three points briefly. There could be more, but let's talk about three points. So, three points that we could uh, uh, take away from that. So one would be that the harmony of the greys that we used here uh, is very important. So using greys instead of bright colours will give you a better harmony all over the painting. That is one point that we can take away. The second point is using grey, reds, sorry, is using reds. Uh, within the greens, see, to enhance that green as red is uh, the complementary color of the green. Red is the complement of green, so as it complements the green, it makes sense to have some reds in. And three, the dark notes will emphasize uh, the drawing the shape, also uh, the perspective. So there's three uh, key points that we can take away from that painting, which are very important, I think, to my, to my liking. It's very important to create a painting who's uh, quite harmonious. Of course, there's other things to be done in that painting. It's by far a perfect painting. It's by far a perfect painting, but it is an excellent study if I would want to now take this and make a, a bigger painting of it. So that is it for today. Um, well, if anything, just to take those three points that we uh, talk about uh, earlier on and uh, try to put them into practice. I guarantee you better results in your paintings. So here we go, that was me trying to attempt a painting of Edward Siegel, one of my favorite painters of all times. So I wish you a happy painting and I see you soon for another tutorial.